Hi there, welcome back to this video. So here I just want to talk about OpenFone now, the ESI version, no, openfone.com. So let me go here, load phone. So here we have the installation and what I want to, the installation is exactly the same as with the foundation, just go to a website, follow the instruction, that's all. Uh, also, do not compile part of you, it's just repeating this when it's too time consuming, use the pre-compiled binary, it can be Windows or Linux, doesn't matter. But I would like to address here that this version comes with a very nice library that is porting Petsy to open from Petsy is a library now of high performance linear solvers. Okay, and there's where in CFD, where we crunch numbers and where, where we can get some efficiency from that computational point of view, but also like so the method used to solve the linear system. So to install that one, you go here in search party, you now the one for the ESI, see that you have this script. Okay, so uh, I'm coming here, I have the original version. Okay, I have this one here where I have everything compile I just went here I erase everything just to show you that to install that one just type this line and it will compile so out of the box what you need to do is to download the software so see it's asking you that you are missing this so just copy and paste whoop and I know that there is a command double you get that it will download that. So see that it's downloading the file. <clears throat> okay, and as you try to compile now, it will tell you also that doesn't file, uh, doesn't find that because you need to extract it. Okay, so you go here and you extract it and the file, it is there. So if you run, it will start the compilation process. In my case, it will, it will go smooth because I already fixed the issues, okay? But just to show you that, again, there are a few issues with missing libraries. In particular, here, the missing issues will be these two libraries, BLAS developer and LAPAC developer. So install these two, okay, to fix the problem. So let it run initially, and then you will see, <clears throat> you will see the problems, and just install these two, and you will fix the problem. Probably, I don't recall, it's unique to install uh, Fortran. I think that is great that you have, it was Petsy. They they set up everything using uh, C++, but install your Fortran is part of the, develop, the development environment. And that's all. It will go through, okay? It will take a little bit, but <clears throat> it shouldn't complain. Okay, so let's wait a little bit and see you later. Okay, <clears throat> at this point, after a while, it's done. In my case, I did, as I say, I didn't complain because I already fixed the issues with missing dependencies and li libraries. In your case, install these three. Okay, so in the, <clears throat> the comment section, the description section of the video, I just put in what you're missing. So now that you have Petsy, we're using, so just to stress this one, that we're using the the commands, no, the the automatic files that come with OpenFOAM, but also you can follow the PETC instructions. Okay, you can install this library outside of the OpenFOAM uh, installation. And actually that is the way I prefer to do it, but let's keep everything encapsulated. So just to PETC, oh uh, yeah, yeah, so it should be PETC. And he, this is the library that we're using. It's a very efficient library, have even support with GPUs, CUDA, all that stuff. Uh, so now that we have Petsy, very important as well, when you install that one, pay attention to the location, okay? Because we need to use this location to source the library later. So also in the instructions, I, I have it here. So these are, <clears throat> the environment variables that you will need to support later. Okay, so you install it here, okay, this architecture, and then where you have the library. So each time that you want to use this one, you need to load that in the in your 
bash rc or whatever uh bash rc that you are using csrc or and so on okay so be careful with this so now that we have this one and by the way i need to load this in my environment variables so go like this um paste i have it there so now to compile the library so we have pet c that we haven't done anything with that okay now we need to compile the library that comes with open phone that will link pet c with with open phone so you go here in in the installation and see that you have this di di directory called modules then external solver and we need to compile it okay so to install this one this is the command light that you use all double you make and then you put this prefix open phone okay so be careful that if you use all double all double you make probably will give you a problem so use like that type and that's all okay compile you have it and then you have some instructions here just to test that the library was was actually compiled or the operating system see, sees the library so you go like this put it there and voila it's working uh one thing that probably it was super fast here but actually let me do like this clean let me erase the installation and redo it so see that it's doing the compilation it's very important that it's linking with petsy the library so that's why you need to give the location it's very important you need to know where where you have that and you need to load this environment variables see that it's ready fast and then you can test now that the installation went fine okay so you have two commands line there and for instance there in tutorials let me go to tutorials basic and let's use the application phone let me go pipe 1d well, let's go flange okay and let's run parallel okay <clears throat> so it's copying files it will run in parallel and we have a solution so here run and it's like look at here laplacian phone the lock file look at that it was running and see that it's using a new solver the pet c conjugate gradient and so go system control did so you go here and the library is using let's see pet phone okay and then also you can access in fv solutions the new linear solvers okay so uh, uh let me go uh, let me close here and i go sv solution and see here that <coughs> solvers use pet c and then well you can access all the options now of this very efficient library okay so i invite you just to read documentation okay because all the flags that you have in the original library you can pass all that stuff to to open phones through this option so there is a lot there okay i want to give you the warning you can get lost very easy in that that sea of information so yep this is it uh so i invite you this is something that i'm playing a lot with this pet c not only in open phone but some other applications and what is interesting about this one is that uh you can have access to gpus okay so let me erase that one to to have my clean installation so yes i think this is all for this case um finally also just to show you as well uh something that uh, let me go tutorials incompressible simple form and just motorbike um, constant um, let me go here or run okay i don't want to run the whole stuff and just to uh, i want to show you and to stress again that okay and let me go OK, 
Okay, so if I go here, let me launch part of you. Okay, so I launch in part of you uh, within Linux, okay? So probably it's a little bit slow because it needs to open all this graphical stuff, but there is no issue. So I want to open the geometry. Let me see if I can access that geometry. It is, yeah, it's compressed. I cannot, I cannot access that because it is compressed. In any case, it doesn't matter. What I want to, to stress, because also I think in the previous videos, uh, I was talking that you, you, you can use transparency with no problem here, but actually it was applying transparency only in the Windows version. So let me create here a source just to show you that it also works here. Okay, so I create this source here and here in the bottom you have transparency. So just pointing out that if you are using the, 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 the virtual machine, it is likely that you can apply the transparency because you need to install new dri light drivers and so on. So it's a little bit time consuming here. It works with no problem. <coughs> so that, that is the only thing that I wanted to show you. So with that being said, that's all. Thank you for your attention. See you next video. Bye.